hey welcome guys so in this tutorial of solidworks we are going to see that how can you use auxiliary views to draw this type of drawing so this is the auxiliary view so generally auxiliary view are used when the model has some slant surface so as you can see here it has this slant surface so for this kind of uh, object we have to use auxiliary view so that we can see that uh, the length of that slant line so suppose you have this slant object as you can see that this slant surface so for for this how can you make the auxiliary views in solidworks drawing like this so let's start for a file click on new go for drawing draw and then you have this drawing shade here go to browse and browse the part which you want as in your drawing sheet so here this is the front view you can put it like here and as you can see if I move move my cursor up or down up, up or side it will give me like the right side view top view like this as you can see in the top view also you can't you cannot see that the slant height exactly what's the slant what's the slant, uh, slant length is there so that's the thing so you can't see in the top view or in the front view the the exact slant like if you go for isometric view you can see but like this is the isometric view we don't want isometric view we want the auxiliary view so how can we make this auxiliary view so we have put it we have put this uh, the front view and now we are going to put this right side view and now as you can see here uh, there is a hole here but it, it is not showing it now so you can go for this display style now you can see these dotted lines which is the hole now for hole we, we have to use center line click on the center line and make this like the center line for the hole so we have made this front view and side right side view so now we want the auxiliary view for auxiliary view go to view layout click on this auxiliary view and if you click this you can see that you will get the auxiliary view here so put the auxiliary view like this and this is the view A if you want auxiliary view like this you have to select this edge so again if you don't want this auxiliary view you can click on this you can click on delete and if you click on this line and if you go for auxiliary view it will give you like this kind of auxiliary view so after putting this you can move this aside make this auxiliary like this so you can see that uh, this is the auxiliary view that the arrow is showing in this direction so if you if you uncheck this arrow you will you will you will remove the arrow option now uh, we want to remove this lines because it is not co-centric with this hole and the center line so uh, click on this right click on click on click and hide it now go to annotation go to center mark and click on this so now it's aligned with the original hole so now you got this center line in a good and exact position so in this way you can make this auxiliary view in the solidworks CAD drawing sheet. So I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like it, like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.